welcome my sara uh, nice to the first of uh, what we hope to create a series of uh, women in fintech and i'm glad we are starting this series with you because you and i we have had multiple conversations offline on our work calls uh, before we deep dive into you know the what and the hows of the industry i'd really like to deep dive into your professional journey because it has been more than two decades of you know experience and worth uh, like worth of knowledge uh, that we should really be looking into so that the likes of me uh, in the industry would get an insight into you know what to do what not to do and how to approach uh, you know a few things and how your role has been in this entire industry yeah it's uh, again my pleasure uh, as i mentioned it's hard to uh, describe uh, more than two decades experience in few lines uh, however, I will summarize it in three words. I think I've been uh, overall uh, very blessed, incredibly lucky and uh, challenged at times. I think um, I was, I am uh, blessed that I was able to build my career in some of the world's best organizations. I started my career with American Express. I stayed with them for almost uh, a decade. Uh, I played different roles. Um, I was very, very blessed that I've encountered some of the best professionals um, in in the field. Uh, after approximately 11, 12 years with American Express, I moved to Visa. And it was, again, completely different new role. Uh, and after four and a half years, I've moved to uh, MasterCard. Uh, if I summarize it from consumer business to merchants business, acceptance, marketing, sales, uh, products, uh, that's why I consider myself uh, very, very blessed. At the same time, uh, being a woman, I have to take into consideration that I've been also incredibly lucky uh, to have the support of my family who have always uh, supported me throughout my journey made me feel that they are very, very proud of me. And this is priceless at times. Um, and the last one, sometimes between the wonderful career and the wonderful family, you get challenged. Where do you place your time? Where do you place your heart? How do you strike a balance? Uh, but overall, I am very, very grateful for my journey. Fintech, I think it can be, I think financial services, right? It can be quite challenging, quite cutthroat. Um, it's been uh, historically dominated by uh, men um, and to make your place, to take that, occupy that space in the industry uh, takes a lot of, uh, you know, work and efforts and uh, you must have seen quite a lot. So uh, let's deep dive into that. I think, um, again, uh, having worked in some of the best organizations in the world and currently being employed by therapy, in all honesty, those challenges haven't been so visible to me, uh, challenges as a woman. Uh, I've been welcomed, uh, I've made my voice, I booked my seat at the table. Uh, if I compare it though, I can completely understand and acknowledge uh, there are lots of challenges for women in other places and many other organizations such as pay gap, uh, stereotyping, um, uh, being described as uh, emotional um, all the time, being passed by, by past promotions. I haven't experienced that myself. Uh, however, was it an easy journey? No, definitely. Uh, that's why I encourage women, uh, because I think particularly for the financial technology uh, or the financial industry in general, uh, you know, it has been described as a bit blunt and boring. Um, so what women bring to this industry is inclusiveness and a different point of view. At the end of the day, uh, you know, if you think about it, and we've done lots of research to support that, uh, all of the financial instruments uh, that we create, the end user somehow is a woman. So we realized that while we design the best technology platforms or products, we design it with men. The researcher is a man, and the manager is a man. The bringing a woman into this has given it um, a, a completely different point of view, a new, fresh perspective, and a closer point of view to reality because women started voicing their opinion that as a woman, I'm not going to be using this product this way. 
Um, so that's it. Okay. And uh, since you've had, you know, three different kind of experiences from sales, marketing, product, how has these three been very diverse in its own ways? And what were the abilities that you had to bring to the table to to professionally fulfill these roles? Yeah, I think um, uh, one thing I have to mention, uh, how lucky I was with the first uh, boss that I had in American Express, who has given me a role that I had no experience in whatsoever. Uh, and I was quite surprised, to be honest with you. I said, I've been in the merchant business, acquiring business, you're moving me to head of cards. Um, it's not an area where I feel very comfortable. And he said, something that stayed with me for the rest of my career, it's not about the experience, it's about the aptitude and the willingness to learn and the dedication that I see you will put in, in this role. So I think it's very important to highlight uh, uh, the, the, the value of people in your life who believe in you and can take your career to the next level. And ever since that uh, experience, so I've taken that role with almost zero experience based on uh, my soft uh, characteristics, if you want. And I've succeeded in it, like incredibly, I did incredibly well. Ever since uh, that day, I realized that the, lim the only limitation that we have is self-imposed, our self-imposed. What is that one advice that you would like to give for the next generation of, you know, women entering the industry? Because it's very, very key that we, 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 Put this word out and you know we uh, they have this visibility of what they should be you know considering while taking up a job in this industry um it'll be very helpful to the young girls i think it's a generic i have a generic piece of sorry piece of advice that i would give to every woman uh one believe in yourself this is the one advice you are as good as you want to be not as good as others think of you uh, take rein of your future, your career. No one should have control over your ambitions. Uh, no one have control should have control or on the end destination. It is you. Put yourself in in the driver's seat. Take responsibility of everything that happens to you, yeah. um, and you will see that you will surprise yourself to how far you can go. Your own capabilities. Have you had any kind of uh, women leader or a leader in the industry that you kind of look up to professionally or personally? Definitely. I mean, it's um, I did a summer job um, just before I graduated. Um, I worked with Citibank. And I think the woman who was heading the credit department, she was the chief credit officer. Uh, her name was Omar Elan. I still remember very, very well uh, because she's a woman who made the greatest impact on me to see that she was the only woman uh, in the entire bank at that time uh, who was a woman. Yeah. So she's given me the first message uh, that you can air, we can earn our, our place at the table. Yeah. We don't yeah. have to be at the waiting seat. Yeah. And the other thing, she was, uh, she was, she also had a, had a family, and I saw that she was able to manage both, mm -hmm. and this has solved a very a big dilemma for me at an early age. I've always thought it's either family or career. She showed me definitely that you can have um, a family and you don't have to sacrifice your uh, your career. It's not one thing to be honest with you, Sneha, that we can do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. to close this uh, this gap we, we because if you think historically um uh, even in developed countries uh, the latest information from the world economic forum showed that even in developed countries women uh, have less access to internet and and technology uh, platforms than men and this is this rises up to 50 plus percent in less developed countries which is a bit sad so if if you analyze it it has lots of perspectives uh, sorry it lots of backgrounds to it mm -hmm. and lots of reasons one is um, gender bias 
So typically in certain countries, you, you see that preference is always given in terms of education, in terms of access, in terms of okay. is given to a male from social uh, perspective that the male is the breadwinner. So he gets preference. So there is a, a social aspect that we need to address. There is another aspect, which is the financial aspect that men are more financially independent. So their ability to access internet and ability to buy the latest technology platforms is much higher. So you have to address the pay gap and the ability for women to find jobs on an equal foot as uh, as uh, as men. So as I said, it's not one thing. Uh, however, I think we have to recognize at the same time that today we are 100 miles away from where we were yesterday. And tomorrow we will be a thousand miles away if we continue this uh, this effort. We need to work with uh, 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 with women, with the country's um, uh, legal and and social authorities. We need to work with uh, every person who wants to put women on the same foot as men uh, to establish. Uh, a holistic plan. It's not one initiative. Holistic plan that has uh, that addresses all the root causes why women have less less access, and has an action plan and a roadmap. And as I said, tomorrow is going to be better. Absolutely, hoping for that. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, I really hope this conversation reaches someone who's looking to join this industry who, irrespective of the industry, right, just like looks up to this video and probably gains some uh, words of wisdom from this conversation and it, it's helpful for her or, uh, you know, really hoping that this reaches the right audience. Um, thank you so much, my Sarah, for joining us and uh, looking forward to creating a scene. Thank you so much Thank you. Uh, for giving me the platform and the opportunity to voice my op uh, opinion. I hope uh, also that somehow, somewhere I can help a woman who's uh, yes. who's struggling with her career choices. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much.